to feed we go. She's such a shy dog, really. Never wants to say hi. As soon as I move the phone away, she there she is. Say hi, Roxy. <laughs> I tricked her. Oh, out we head to feed cows. Probably six bales, just like normal. Part of the sunrise, I miss most of it, but it looks like it might be a decent day today. Hey girl, it's gonna be a nice day. For those people that are asking, there's the bees right there. I haven't taken the fence down, but the fence is away, so it's wrapped. Um, my fear is if you are a bee person, hold on, I'll stop the tractor. So there's snow on the top that I keep whipping off so it doesn't like, so they can breathe, but the snow is building up on the bottom. And I'm wondering if I should keep shoveling that away so the airflow can go through the top. So if you're a bee person and you're watching this, can you let me know? Because I've never used one of these bee cozies and it's my first winter with them. So I don't want to lose them. So if you are a bee person, can you let me know your thoughts on those bee cozies and if I should keep the snow, shovel the snow away from them? Because that would be great. I'm scared it's gonna like all build up and then they can't breathe because it'll insulate it. Uh, so. Yes, off to the bale stack we go. We'll do big cows first, just because that's the way it is. Tractor dog. All right, here I am at the bales and I can't do it holding the phone recording. So I will bring you back when we go down to the drills and see what they're, what they're up to. Well, so far, two bales down, two bales backwards. I had to put the bale down and turn around to the other side of the bale and re-back up to it so it unrolls. Well, just hold on two seconds. There we go. I can see everybody or you can see me. Whoever you want to look at that. Um, that's going to be too low. We're backing into the bale. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, right about there. A little bit slower than normal just because I only have the one hand because I don't know I don't think to bring the other camera out with me so there we go that's better so the new math I was out here and I was looking at it and they've really cleaned up the last two days the temperature overnight has dropped and the days are slowly getting shorter so cow math we go to five bales out here and then we'll see tomorrow how much they've cleaned up and tomorrow's Saturday so there's a good chance that I'm not going to be out here at nine in the morning feeding I'll probably make a nice family breakfast I don't think you can smoke cinnamon buns it's been a really long time so we'll give them extra bail to hold the girls over and go from there Roxy leave Regina so that's the end of that bail so we let it go and we go back to the bail stack to get couple more. You can tell everybody what you did and why you're on this side of the tractor. You're pouting because it called you a bad dog. Went to deliver a bale to the neighbors and got halfway there and somebody ran out in front of me as in they followed me off the property. So they put her in the tractor because I don't want her at the neighbor's house. And now she's pouting because she I told her she was a bad dog. She's not supposed to leave the yard. She knows this too. Don't you? So that's the end of feeding for today. We'll be back tomorrow. Happy Saturday morning. It's the snow on my deck. That's how much snow we have. Anyways. Um, it's always a good Saturday morning when you see the smoker going for breakfast. Even Roxy's wondering what I'm making. What do you think we're having? Are you gonna say good morning? No? <laughs> You'll have to wait. She's looking right at us. You'll have to uh, wait and see what I'm making. Did you guess what I made? Did you? This is what we're making. 
Uh, it just went in. So they take a little bit longer because it's colder outside, but we'll have fresh cinnamon buns for breakfast. Damn one, damn one. <laughs> and they're ready. What do you think? Smoked cinnamon buns. It's going to be. Poke them. <laughs> what a dork. It's going to be a good day. It's warm out. I don't even know why she's wearing a toque or a beanie or a hat, whatever else anybody else calls them things. It's like plus three. It's melting. We went to town this morning and I went through probably a jug of wash fluid because it's all sloppy. So, yeah. But now we're going to feed cows. Four to the breads, one to the calves, and one to the bread heifer. Six bales. Won't take us long. Dogs need a pain in the butt. So, he did scare the calves. Crazy dog. She's not crazy. She's a little bit wacky. She's not crazy. She's just a little bit wacky. Oh, all right. You're the first from the kids. So, on our way to the bale stack to grab the first two bales, and we're going to go on roll and see how this goes. Uh, it's hard for you to see. But I spy, with my little eye, little footprints on that bale. Like a dog's been climbing my bale stack. Silly puppy. No. Just me and you, hey girl? Roxy. Just me and you, hey? Just me and you. Where's that mom, hey? Well, Mrs. Girl and her cows is uh, on to work today. So, it's me and Roxy. I'm gonna see if we can uh, accomplish this feeding thing here without her. Cause uh, I haven't been feeding much. I've been uh, busy with the truck, so. Right, Roxy? Right, my girl? Why is there your bowl in the middle of the driveway, Roxy? You playing playing food bowl? This crazy dog likes to run around and move her full food bowl around. I'm not sure why, but yeah. So just another. This is episode three million four hundred and twenty-six of feeding cows. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy uh, you know something new here because this is. Uh, Pretty, pretty uh, groundbreaking technology we got here. You know, feeding cows and hanging out on the ranch, and uh, yeah, kind of nice to not have to drive the truck today. But should go haul some hay, but I'm not gonna because I just don't want to. There's my high boy. I don't know if you can see it, but it's way over there. There's my truck all dirty and doesn't look shiny at all because it's been working. It sucks, but. Well, can't them all. I don't know if you guys can see the little baby cord in that pen, but it looks pretty funny. Yeah. Roxy, why does your head have to be there, huh? Yeah. We don't have anybody open the gate, Roxy. We gotta get out and open our own gate? Oh, this is some garbage, hey girl? Oh, you're gonna lick me. Okay. No? We gotta get open, open our own gate? This is not good. Like, no kids or nothing to open gates? Like, we didn't get to use the gate openers that Stephanie gave me 12 years ago? But, I guess we'll manage, hey girl? What? 
Oh, yeah. Here they come. All wondering when I'm going to get this bail unrolled for them. Dogs trained them to stay back, but yeah, they're uh, hoping that I can hurry up and get this done because I'm, you know, like three hours later than Stephanie normally is. We'll shut the door so Brooklyn's cow doesn't come and wreck, rip the door off. But uh, I don't know if I can cut string and uh, vid you, so we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Jenny the bale chaser. We got the video going just in time for the bale to be done, guys, looks like. Oh, a little bit more. Somebody sweet talked their dad into getting the 440 running. Summer toys, so the winter toys are accessible. Or the boat! Gave him a list. Don't hit my fence! Don't hit my holiday trailer! I forgot the boat was there. I'm like, don't hit that either! <laughs> Happy kid. <laughs> 